Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the join string method. And what the join string method does is it takes the string that it's called on and it um, uses that string as a separator for a string that it's going to iterate over, which is its argument. Now, I know you guys are new to Python and you're probably like, separator iterator terminator you probably don't know what the heck i'm talking about so it's better if i just show you so let's go ahead and do a is equal to and we're just going to do an empty string and what an empty string is is a string that contains absolutely nothing all right and then we're going to do a dot join and we're going to go ahead and pass some sort of iterator through there so an iterator can be anything in a se sequence a string can be iterated over a tuple which you guys don't really know what a tuple is yet. That can be iterated over. A list can be iterated over. So any data type that's a sequence data type can be iterated over. So we're going to take a look at a tuple first. And what we're going to do is we indicate a tuple by the parentheses. And we're going to say M, which is a string. And then we're going to say C, which is a string. And then we're going to say O, which is a string capital O and we'll close out that tuple and close out our join method hit return and what happened here was it went a as a separator so it's an empty string so it's not using a separator so then we say hey join m so it's going to go m a c a o a well since a isn't anything it's just throwing MCO in there so for mastercode.online. Um, so let's take a look at this a little bit more so you understand what's going on. A is equal to, now we're going to throw a hyphen in here like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do a dot join and we'll use a different string this or a different data type this time. We'll use a string MCO and we'll go ahead and call that. Now what happens is we're getting M and then going to A is it um, separator is a hyphen and then C as the um, iterator and then A and then O. So it's iterating back and forth and say and it's putting the separators in there. So there you go. That's what's going on. Now I understand that you guys are new and it's a little confusing with the iterators and separators and and um, tuples and everything else. All right. I get it. Just understand that you're able to do this with the join string method and the join string method definitely does not take one string and join it to the other all right so if you understand that much you have accomplished our tutorial today it would all it'll all start making sense soon so if you have any questions head over to mastercode.online otherwise i'll see you in the next tutorial